Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, Riri J. My name is Maria. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Welcome back again. So I really want to just go over, you know, my journey as a loan signing agent. It has been a, an amazing roller coaster ride. I've met so many amazing people. I've made great money um, doing it and I learned a lot. Things I wouldn't have never learned if I would have never taken the step to become a notary and a loan signing agent. One great takeaway from being a loan signing agent is the ability to have multiple streams of income. It feels so good when you're able to not have to depend on one stream of income and you know that you have other streams coming in so if one thing goes away or slows down you have more income still coming in to support your lifestyle and in coming into the new year which is 2022 yay i need you guys to get excited Get excited about 2022. We're going to boss up. We're going to level up and we're going to become the best versions of ourselves. Okay. And I want to take you guys on this journey because learning about multiple streams of income and actually putting myself into those streams and investing into those streams and seeing the return is what I want to share with you. You know, the average millionaire has seven streams of income. In this video, I'm going to share with you five streams of income that you can look into for 2022. Stay tuned. Okay, let's get right into it. So before I start, I want to answer the question of what is passive income? So the goal of passive income is to earn money while you sleep. You invest time in building something up front that will generate income down the road with little effort on your part. So pretty much passive income is something that you set up. You may have to maintain it at some point, but it generates money literally while you're asleep. I don't know about you, but that's where I want to be in 2022. All right. So the first stream is investing in high yield dividend ETFs or electronic traded Funds. Now, I know that may sound a little intimidating. It may be a little bit much, but I got you. I got you. So what an ETF is essentially is where multiple companies are under one share. You purchase that one share and your money gets spread across several different companies. So it, I, it diversifies your portfolio instantly and the risk factor is very low. So if one company isn't doing so well, you're not going to see much of a difference because you have several other companies that are performing well. So it's a great way to put your money into because your money's going to grow. You also get paid a monthly or a quarterly dividend. And what dividends are, they're just the payout of the profit that the companies are making. Now, these payouts are very small percentages, but a little bit turns into a lot of it over time. While your money's growing, why not get an extra dividend payout on it every month or every quarter? It just makes sense. Why would I want to keep my money in a checking account or a low interest bearing savings account when I can put my money in a high yield dividend ETF where it's going to grow and pay me dividend. On the screen here, I have three ETFs that pay dividends on a quarterly basis. Um, it has more information about it. Definitely do your research about what type of ETF you want to invest in. That is so important before you jump out there, you want to do your uh, research, but investing in high yield dividend ETFs is the best way to begin as a beginner investor. So now that you know where you need to invest your money, you need to also know how to invest your money. Well, you will need a broker. So a broker is essentially an account that you will create that will give you access to the stock market. You'll be able to then buy, sell, and do all that good stuff through that broker. There's two brokers that I absolutely love to work with. And then there's one that I started out with from the beginning that I wanna share with you as well. So the first broker that I do recommend you get started with is Webull. 
Webull is an amazing platform. It's a newer platform, so it's easier to navigate and to use. Webull also has a ton of information about how to invest and it's just, it's such a great platform. I absolutely love working on Webull. It also allows you to uh, buy and trade crypto as well. That's a story for another video, but yeah, it does allow you to buy and sell crypto as well. So definitely check that out. If you do not have a Webull app, definitely download it by clicking the link in my description. And if you click the link in my description, Webull will give you five free stocks to begin with. Cannot beat it. So go ahead and click that link. The second broker that I like to work with is E-Trade. Now E-Trade has been around for quite some time. So it's a more mature platform, but at the same time, I love the layout. It's very simple, easy to use, and easy to understand. It allows me to purchase stock that Webull may not allow me to purchase. I've noticed that when it came to buying certain stock, I'm not sure of the details about why, but sometimes Webull will not allow you know people to purchase a trade. So you go to another broker to be able to purchase that trade. All right, and the last app that I wanna share with you guys is, believe it or not, Cash App. <laughs> so when I first began investing, I started using Cash App. And I love Cash App because it does not force you to buy the entire amount of a share. You can buy $1, you can buy $5 or $10 um, in a share and not have to pay the full amount. I absolutely love that factor. Um, it also allows you to trade Bitcoin on there as well. So I like the platform. It's easy to understand, easy to maneuver, and it allows you to get your feet wet while you're trying to understand how the stock market moves. So now that I've shared with you the brokers that I use and what you should invest your money into, go out and be great. Research the ETFs that you want to invest in and get a broker and start investing. Also, if you do wanna learn more about trading and the, the various different types of trading that there is out there. I follow two amazing channels on YouTube that has taught me a lot and has helped me grow my knowledge on trading. The first YouTube channel is Travel and Trade. She has an amazing YouTube page that has a wealth of information on there. I love her attitude. I love her straightforward demeanor. She also has a really good course that you can invest into when you're ready to expand your knowledge in trading. The next YouTube page that I absolutely love is a Black Girl Stocks. It's all in the name, okay? They have a wealth of information on their channel as well. So definitely check them out. Tell them Riri J sent you. So our second stream of income is Printful and Shopify. Yes, Printful and Shopify has joined forces to allow you the opportunity to create a very beautiful print on demand website. I'm in love with my website. If you want to know, my website is www.mybayboutique.com and I create print on demand t-shirts, t-shirts like this. So I have a love for loan signing. I have a love for, for professions worldwide, doctors, nurses, lawyers. And I feel like you're a bay to somebody. So I created these shirts called hashtag bay shirts. All right, so I'm wearing the shirt that I created on the Printful app. What I really love about Printful is that all you do is set up your account with Printful. It automatically links to your Shopify store. You design your store and you create your product. Printful will create it, package it, and ship it to your customers and you just pay them the back end cost. So all you would have to do is create your Shopify store and set that up. I know that you can also hire people on Fiverr.com to create your Shopify store for a really good price as well. But it's so worth it, especially if you have a following or you want to be expressive. Shopify and Printful allow you to do that without the headache of trying to connect so many dots. It's all there for you and it's yours to have if you really want it. Um, I pay $29.95 per month to keep my Shopify store open, which is nothing because one shirt pays for that. So once you set up your Shopify store, all you have to do is market it and advertise it and watch the money 
come in. It is such a great way to make passive income in your sleep and to grow your own business. How great is that? If you are interested in starting your own Printful and Shopify account, I have a link below for you to get started. I'll be more than happy to create a detailed video on how I created my Printful and Shopify store. So if you are interested, definitely uh, leave a comment below and let me know if you want to see that. Our next stream of income is something similar to Printful and Shopify, but it's different. It's a whole different animal, okay, of its own, and that is selling on Amazon. So I absolutely love Amazon, and it kind of links to my last stream of income because I'm able to connect my Printful and Shopify store to an Amazon account and it syncs automatically. I absolutely love that. Now selling on Amazon is, you know, pretty straight and to the point. It is $39.99 per month to have a subscription to sell on Amazon. And they have two different types of plans that you can pick. You can do individual or professional. I recommend if you are new to selling, start out as an individual. They do charge individual accounts, 99 cents, per item sold on top of the $39.99. But if you're selling a good product and it's selling, that will not matter, trust me. Amazon has over 150 plus million Amazon Prime customers on it. And in 2020 alone, they surpassed $3.5 billion in sales. Why would you not wanna get in on that? Why would you not wanna become a part of that? Definitely look into that. I have a link below of more information about selling on Amazon. So to register for Amazon, you will have to prove that you are who you say you are. So once you register, they will set up a video chat with you in order to see you in person. You will also have to hold up your government ID, which cannot be expired, and they wanna see the front and the back of it. They're gonna also want you to have some type of banking account statement, um, showing that your credit card is the actual card that's linked to that bank. I mean, there's a lot of, you know, strenuous um, things that they do during the registration process, which I appreciate because it makes sure that we're not out here getting scammed. Once you're registered with Amazon, all you need to do now is just list your products. I don't want to get too deep in it because this video is just only showing you what the possibilities are of having multiple streams of income. But if you want a video, a detailed video on how I set up my Amazon store and how I list my products and that whole process, leave a comment below. I'll be more than happy to make a video about that. So if you do not already have an Amazon account, please click the link below and get started. What are you waiting for? So number four is creating and selling digital products online. Um, my focus right now is gonna be on planners and journals. Those are some of our top selling products, uh, digital products. So I definitely wanna really zone in on those two. Now, there are great websites out there that will allow you to create these digital products, but one website in particular has stolen my heart, and that is lulu.com. Lulu.com is a book publishing website that allows you to create every aspect of your book. The great thing about it is once you sell it online as an ebook, you're able to also transfer it and turn it into an actual book for someone to purchase online. So you're getting the digital money and you're also getting the print money. What I also love about lulu.com is that the, it's not a lot of money to create your book. I created a notebook for eight bucks. So it's not a lot of money and to sign up on lulu.com is absolutely free. All you do is pay them for the product that you create and sell. So what I do recommend doing is going to lulu.com, creating your planner or your journal or your ebook, and then go ahead and linking it to your Amazon account to go ahead and sell. If you want details of how I went and I created my planner and my journals and I linked them to my Amazon, site to sell, let me know. I'll be more than happy to create a detailed video on that. So if you want more details on how I put together my journals and my planners and to sell them on Amazon, please leave a comment down below. I'll be more than happy to create a video for that as well. And last but certainly not least, we have our fifth stream of income, which is becoming an Airbnb host. Now this has been out for a long time, but a lot of people are kind of changing the way it's being done. People look for rental properties, rent them out, and then rent them out on Airbnb to make a profit to begin 
their uh, Airbnb journey. I think that is so amazing. And of course, it's passive, but not passive. You still have to make sure you maintain the property. So there's a little work that comes behind that. You're kind of like becoming a landlord in a sense. However, being an Airbnb host can create and generate a great monthly income for you and your family. I know just in Charlotte alone, if you have a home or a space that can accommodate up to four guests, you can earn as much as $2,600 per month in just renting out that property. So it's a great way to create passive income literally while you sleep. But again, there is some maintenance that goes into Airbnb. Now there's no upfront cost to join with Airbnb. Airbnb will just take out the money as you rent out your space. The setup process is pretty easy and straightforward. All you would have to do is register and create an account on airbnb.com. Then Airbnb will request pictures and details about the space that you're looking to rent. So once you get approved to rent that space on Airbnb, now it's go time. You wanna go ahead and prep your space, get it professionally cleaned, and then set your rules and wait for the money to come in. I have not became an Airbnb host as of yet, but this home that I'm sitting in right now will become an Airbnb in the near future. And I cannot wait to see what that experience is gonna be like. If you want more details on, you know, the steps to become an Airbnb host, let me know in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to do a video solely on how to become an Airbnb host and the steps that are required to do that. All right, guys, so this was extremely fun and so empowering to be able to empower you with these ideas of how to make passive income for the year 2022. We're going to have a great year. I'm just, I just can feel it. And I know if you put forth the effort, you will reap the benefits. So I definitely encourage you guys to be excited, get excited about 2022 and continue to learn, never stop growing, be amazing, be great because you are. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel, Riri J. Look forward to talking to you next time.